The brutal beating of a bodega owner in Brooklyn on Saturday now being investigated as a possible hate crime. New York cops looking for the attackers who were yelling racial slurs during the violence. And moments ago, the NYPD releasing video of the people they say they're looking for. Cops say they got away in a white truck after the attack. And today, a gathering to show support for the victim, who, by the way, was right back at work this morning. Here's Iowa News reporter N.J. Brookett. Over here. Is all this water? Okay. water. I see that put staples in your yes. head. Jamal Swade knows tonight he could have been killed. He was working behind the counter at his tiny grocery on Mermaid Avenue in Coney Island when he was attacked. The store's surveillance video is chilling. While one man attacks Jamal's employee, the other man bolts the counter and brutalizes Jamal with a metal rod, pounding his head and his face over and over again. An attack that he believes was racially motivated. He hit me with a stick more than one, more than three, more than four, more than five. I never see them before. I don't have no problem with no one. I don't have no problem with anyone in a comment. Jamal says no other motive makes sense. That the men burst into the store and beat him mercilessly while shouting vulgar anti-Arab slurs. I have to find out what's the problem. Why they come to my place and they destroy my head and they hit me only in my head, in my head. They want to kill me. For what reason? What do you want? Justice. When do you want it? Outside the store, activists and elected officials rally to support Jamal, urging the community to help identify the suspects. So we have to get the message out that if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. And I'm asking law enforcement to please find these it happened on Saturday night, and NYPD detectives are now investigating the case as a possible bias crime. Ahmed Mohammed is with the Council on American Islamic Relations. These were not criminals who were here to rob the store or steal from the store. They didn't do any of that. All they did was yell some racial slurs at him and then beat him. Violently. Jamal is an immigrant from Yemen who has owned the store for more than 20 years, working seven days a week to support his family. Time off to recover or to protect himself is not an option. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, but uh, I have to do what I got to do. In Coney Island, NJ Burkett, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.